selection of sandwiches now we are going to see different sandwiches how to make sandwich fillings we are going to see in this let's see what are the ingredients we need we need mixed vegetables avocado bell peppers we require some sliced tomatoes sliced onions sweet corns some mushrooms tuna we have some salt as well we have taken a pan which we are going to heat and make the mixture so for different sandwiches we have different fillings some fillings we need to heat and mix it and make some fillings uh, are just we can just put it raw like tomatoes onions stuffs if somebody wants you can just put it raw do not heat or may make mixtures of that but some of the mixtures are being made to make the fillings of the sandwiches which we are going to see in this video so we have already taken a pan and now we are going to add some oil just add some oil and heat it a bit some mushrooms so we have seen in the previous videos as well how we uh, wash the mushrooms uh, by adding some flour and by adding some flour on the mushroom and then we wash it because the flour will help the to clean the mushroom properly it takes out all the mud of the mushroom now we just add some mixed bell peppers diced bell peppers why you we use the dice method in this because it is easier for uh, the sandwich filling and easy to consume the sandwich so this mixture which we are making for the sandwich is with the mushroom bell peppers adding some salt we also have some flour with us just for the thickening just to build up the consistency of the filling because uh, it's a thick uh, it's a liquidy thick filling which we are making which will be very creamy in the sandwich add some sweet corn also known as, known as american corn okay, so just add it a bit so mushroom bell peppers sweet corns Okay, it will give a nice flavor, nice sauce, sweetness. Okay, so the filling is will be very, very healthy as well. So we have a refined flour, as I said, with us. So first, we'll just saute this nicely. We just need to make it more crunchy. So as you can see that the mixture is getting ready, nicely sauteed and stir it nicely. Make sure that the heat is properly balanced, it is not burning the pan. That is very important for you to understand and we need to make all the ingredients more crunchy has to be very crunchy then we add butter to the mixture so the butter will make it more creamy okay so this ingredient is also very important it will make it more creamy and more softer the filling will be more delicious it adds flavor then we are going to add a little bit of a little bit of flour, refined flour, a little bit of it, 
and we're going to cook it with the nice juice which has come out from the vegetables and the butter so the flour gets cooked nicely we add this to get that creamy texture and the thickness to the filling and it holds the, the flour holds the mixture together nicely so that is why it is very important for us to use the flour now avocado is being soaked in the water a bit and then this avocado has been added with some water and as you can see now the binding starts the flour, flour binding starts we add avocado to this the mixture has become so creamy and so delicious now when you eat it it's so uh, soft and crunchy as well it, it's very beautiful you can add some more of avocado and water so I've just diced the avocado, cleaned the avocado and soaked it in water for just uh, another 15-20 minutes I've soaked it and now I'm using this avocado and water in this mixture just to get that extra flavor to it it's looking beautiful and so creamy as well add some salt you can also add some uh, pepper if you want, white pepper add white pepper if you want to add but I've not used any pepper in this, I've just add salt how to assemble sandwiches now this is how we are going to see now we have the mixture we have already made the, uh, the liquid mixture as you can see we already had this vegetables which were sauteed and then we had the onions and tuna and tomatoes which I showed you I've just bought in the mayonnaise for uh, for the assembling now we are going to see how we assemble this we also need a bit of butter as well so we have all these ingredients now as you can see we have bread just make sure that you apply the mayonnaise first okay, just add the mayonnaise take a spoon just spread the mayonnaise because the bread has to be uh, should not be dry from the, at the bottom you should always have some sauce or some, something to you know get all the flavors so make sure the bread is being nicely coated now we are going to see this club sandwich which we are making now okay this club sandwich we use sliced breads okay for the normal baguette sandwich we are using we are going to use the baguette we are also applying butter to the slice so we're making the club sandwich too so that's the reason i've taken a slice bread and we i'm applying the mayonnaise and butter to it so the filling has to be assembled that's why we call this as assembling the sandwich so first sandwich is the club sandwich as i said and we are adding some some butter and mayonnaise so that it's more creamy and soft at the bottom again we have all the ingredients so in this club sandwich i'm just going to use the uh, the wet mixture okay the with the one which i have made the hot mixture okay the wet and hot mixture it's it's liquidy a bit it's creamy and it has all this natural uh, and beautiful vegetables and fruits which are going in this has avocado, sweet corn, mushrooms, bell peppers, butter, creamy flour. It's nicely assemble it on one slide. And I'm also going to add some some bit of tomatoes. So tomatoes will add a bit of rawness. Okay. So close one side of the sandwich okay and just add a little bit of butter just a bit of butter you can also add uh, lettuce if you want but it's up to you but the creamy feeling is more than enough as per my knowledge but if somebody likes lettuce, they can add lettuce as well. 
club sandwich is always heavy and full it's it's a good sandwich if you're making any non vegetarian item if you do not want to make it veg you can also egg, add egg because normally in club sandwiches we do add egg but if somebody is vegetarian then we don't add egg uh, so this is a vegetarian uh, sandwich which i've made where i'm not adding egg in the club sandwich but usually you do add eggs in club sandwiches uh, that is the basic principle of making club sandwiches by adding egg but here we are making a vegetarian club sandwich that's the reason we are not uh, adding egg if this was a chicken club sandwich i would have definitely added egg The mixture would have been the same just add chicken in this mixture and then you get your chicken club sandwich and then you just add egg and on the second layer so this is the only difference so you can make your own club sandwiches by just adding boiled chicken in this just spread the slide and then in center you need to cut and this is how you get your nice club sandwich ready see this how gently and nicely i've cut this always use toothpicks to hold the sandwich just put it in the center okay so if you want to hold your sandwich just put it in the center and keep it ready so just add some cherry tomatoes and your sandwich is ready to eat it's so delicious and beautiful especially for the breakfast or brunch people love to have their club sandwiches and club sandwich with egg is very delicious as well so make sure you always uh, have your club sandwiches in this way now we are going to make a normal bucket sandwich which is also called as an open sandwich okay so this bucket sandwich which i am going to make is also an open sandwich so i have cut the bucket in half now I'm just going to equalize this you know, just need to, because I'm making an open sandwich I just uh, want to make sure that my bucket is you know opened so I'm just slitting it in between I always use a bread knife to slit this off okay so make sure you're doing this extra trimming has to be removed now what we're going to do is we're going to use a mixture of tuna tomatoes onions and some vegetables which was there now first we need to add some butter and mayonnaise as we did for the club sandwich as well so this is a similar method this is a basic of making sandwiches always coat the base with some with some uh, paste or sauce okay especially mayonnaise and butter and we'll just add a bit of tomatoes at the bottom so you can see how the open sandwiches are made so you need, you need to see that this combination of white and red uh, goes well that's the reason I've added tomatoes at the bottom and it is also good for the base it will not move my sandwich I'm adding some onions. Okay, this is the sliced onions. Okay. And I have my tuna now. So just open up the tuna. Okay, and I just placed it on this sandwich. Then I'm using some vegetables. This is the saute vegetables. It has been sauteed with garlic and olive oil and some thyme. So this sandwich, uh, this piece, I'm just going to make the base a bit more 
equal to the one which I have. Just made the base level equal, and now I'm going to add similarly the same thing which I'm going to repeat here. Okay, maybe I'm going to add some, some butter. If I want, I can also use this this wet mixture to this. So let's see. Uh, you know, some people they like to have different uh, types of open sandwiches. So one with the tuna which I've already made, and now uh, we are making another open sandwiches. That similarly, what we have used is the tomatoes, some onions. So this mixture, as we saw, it was with the tomato, onions. And tuna, this, and I'm also going to make sure that this looks beautiful. And now this on this sandwich, I'm going to use this other mixture which I've used for the club sandwich. This is the vegetarian mixture which I have. So I have the non-vegetarian item, vegetarian item. If I want to use tuna as well, I can use it on. So it's up to you how you want to make your open sandwich. Anything you can use. If you have the mixture, you can play with the mixture mix and match okay so this is how i've done okay so i'm going to add a little bit of tuna in this so two styles i've made one which was just with the tomatoes and onions and mixed vegetables and this one was with the the club sandwich mixture which i've used the wet mixture so there are two different types of open sandwich which are ready for you now okay so so this is how it is some 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 of the restaurants they also have the guest choice so the choice the ingredients similar as how we do it in subway this is how it is so, so your open sandwich is ready for you so just take a plate and do the plating this looks delicious and open sandwiches are huge, mainly the buckets are huge uh, for and it's like for a portion of two people now, so where they can have it for the brunch, portion of two people. This is how it looks beautiful and uh, fantastic. So it's full of ingredients and exotic vegetables. With this, we finish our sandwiches. I hope you enjoyed the lecture.